So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how ping actually affects your shares to the pool. So this is a very important thing when you're actually going to mine or solo mine. Typically, it's going to be more important if you're actually hitting blocks on a Bitcoin miner. But if you're using these, you want it in place so that if you ever do hit a Bitcoin block, then eventually the ping should be good. So we're going to be talking about how it affects miners and the overall space of mainly looking at solo miners, but also we'll talk about ASIC miners and pool mining as a side note on it. But before we get into that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Crypto Miner Bros. Since 2018, CryptoMinerBros.com has been the premier site for top tier crypto mining hardware, earning the trust of miners across the globe. The prices displayed on their site cover shipping and DDP straight to your doorstep ensuring no unexpected costs at checkout. They deliver to over 100 countries and even provide lower invoicing options to help you cut down on customs fees. Payment is a breeze with options like direct bank transfer or cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, USDT or Ethereum. With over 250 ASIC options, they stock some of the channel's favorites like the Bitax, the Bitax Touch and the Avalon Nano 3S. Join tens of thousands of happy customers who rely on CryptoMinerBros.com for dependable hardware fulfillment, clear pricing, and a top-notch service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com today, link in the description. So I did make this video previously, but there was a couple of inaccurate things where I was showing the ping to the node. So what I was doing was showing the ping to the actual website and not the actual node. So they are two very different things. However, if you want ping or you can use latency as another word as well, this is the kind of explanation. It's basically how quick you can connect to a node. So how quickly you perform like a handshake with the node. So you're saying, I'm going to send you a message and you send it back, confirming that message. And the quicker that it is, the lower latency that you have or the lower ping that you have. This is from, I believe, a Windows command line where you type in or you basically ping a node from your computer and it will tell you the time in milliseconds. So the lower the time, basically the better overall in terms of mining. And typically ping is down to the region that you're in. So for example, we're in the UK. If we wanted to ping a node in the US, the time would actually be higher than if we were to ping a node in the UK. So this is why when you see on mining pools, you can see here that they have a Europe location and a USA one. So they're splitting it out so you get a lower ping to the nodes that they are actually utilizing. So all of these are gonna to go to the European node and then all of these are gonna to go to the US node. So if we were to ping that, then the ping or latency would be higher than what we would have ping into the Europe node. And the main reason that you want to be kind of made aware of this is not really a massive thing that you need to look out for because mainly mining pools or solo mining nodes will be in the regions. So you have a lot of variability where you can connect to one in the EU, even you can connect it by country. So I know that there's a couple of solo Bitcoin mining nodes in Germany, France, Italy, which is kind of far away, but still those pings are perfectly fine to actually run to. But the main reason that you'd actually want a lower ping is because of rejected shares. So when you're submitting to the pool, if the pool doesn't respond and say that you have submitted that share, it basically gets rejected. You want less rejected shares as possible because if you actually do hit a block in terms of the difficulty, so when we go here, you can see that we have shares that are above target and stale shares. But if you do hit a block that is 127 T and then that is rejected, that means that you wouldn't actually hit the block. So in the whole ethos of solo mining, you would want to have the least amount of rejected shares and the quickest ping to the node. The odds are obviously very low that you'd hit a Bitcoin block, but it'd be even lower that it would be rejected even if you hit that difficulty. But it's just to kind of put a safety net on it just in case you do hit a block. So in the XOS, I believe that this is the most updated version 
and you have five above target and four stale. So four stale is basically rejected. While this stale share was being submitted, the network had already found a new block making this share invalid. So things like that. And then you have above target, which is do not meet the minimum required difficulty. This is a little bit different to what we previously saw, which was on, I think here we can show it. You have a rejected number. So this is on the node QX and this is 93 rejected. And this was basically rejected by the pool, but they've split it out now to above target and stale shares. So depending on which version of the XOS you're using, it might display something different. In the newer versions of the XOS is a really good feature, which is actually the ping time. So it's actually the ping to the server. So that gives you a really good idea of kind of how quickly you're connecting to the and how much ping is actually on there. So this isn't technically the most updated version, but we can go to an updated version, which is on our gamma and it shows it in time down here. So time it takes for the pool to respond to a share. So with Parasite Pool, they only have a node in the US, so it's around 70 milliseconds, which is actually very high. You want something that's probably under 20 to really make sure. As you can see there, we have a lot of stale shares, 42 compared to the four that we have there. I know it's a bit different because we have higher shares, but you can still see that we are getting stale shares. I don't know what's happening with this number because it's jumping up and then jumping down. It might just be the time in between. But generally you want something that is under 20 and that should limit the amount of rejected shares. If it goes above it, it's not too much of a big deal as we're mining to Parasite Pool. That is kind of a hybrid of pool mining and solo mining. So the odds of us hitting a block is very low, but we're also submitting shares to that pool in hopes of getting a payout when it does hit a block. So when it comes to pool mining or revenue mining, I would say the shares matter because you're getting paid per share. That's normally how that's normally how you're getting paid out and you want to have as much accepted as possible. Otherwise, you're not going to get paid for the work that you've done. So it does matter for both solo and revenue mining. So as that was an example of the ping, you can also see it on the node QX, I believe down here, but this one gives an average. So it's a little bit different. And our ping is 22 milliseconds on average, even though we are technically in the same room. So it's not fairly accurate, at least on here, because it's not giving you an average. This one's 55, but the average on here is 22.71. So as I said, anything under 20 is really good. And if you can get it lower, that's even better. As I stated previously, we did make a video on this and I did get some things wrong. I have since deleted that video and we're redoing it now. But the ping that we are actually measuring in that video, if you did see it, was the ping to the website. So we were using the command line from our computer because we're on the same network as the bit axes are running. And we were pinging the website of the actual pool. For example, this one is DGB dash sha dash solo pool dot org we are actually pinging that website and not and not the actual node so they are two different things unless they are running on the same network which i don't think that they would be but that could give you an idea of how quickly you are going to connect to that but the main way to look as i said is probably to update the xos and we can tell you what the actual xos number is here so firmware version is 2.9.0 and XOS version is 2.9.0. So those are the versions that actually include the ping number. And I think it's fairly accurate on the most updated version. This nerd QX hasn't actually been updated, so I don't know how it's being calculated in the background. But this is currently using version 1.0.31. So I recommend you update to the latest version because they are always coming out with newer things that you can see there. And they've got a lot on the side here. We already covered this in a couple of videos earlier. They are also putting the port down here and your user. So you can check on that without having to look at the system or the network which you're connected to. And there's a bunch of new features that are coming out. So I would make sure you update, just check the ping. It's not too high. Lastly, again, around under 20 is good. Between, between probably 20 and 70 is all right, but anything above that, I would look to try find a pool which is closer.
So my test would be just test every pool that you can that is solo mining to the coin that you want to and then just check the ping to it down here. So hopefully you guys learned something and enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.